Hello everyone, Triple here, and I'm here with another episode of the NNDL. Uh, this round we're facing Andrew, who's coaching the Charcoal Charizards. And if we can grab his team, um, he's a, he's got a really good team with uh, Mega Mawel. Uh, but the one thing I noticed is look at his Pokemon, then look at Melmetal. I click Double Iron Bash practically for free. The only thing in my way is the Rotom. Uh, which I believe takes about 20% from a double iron bash, which is like still pretty good damage. Uh, I went with this double iron bash toxic substitute protect set. Yeah, I'm substitute because I can substitute up on like a mobile and then have the Alakazam or something come in, wanting to focus blast me and kill it with double iron bash. Um, if I get a toxic on. Rotom, that's huge because then I can slowly wear it down to a point where it's not an answer anymore. And this is my big game plan. Just clicking buttons with Melmetal. Golbat actually takes 50% if I hit both hits. So it can really attack me and then boost up again. I will keep it low. Uh, I was actually Leper Berry for the longest time on this. Which was also really interesting because only 8 double line bashes. Um... But uh, I went with left offers eventually because of the substitute. Uh, really good set this. Um, I have Rillaboom because of course ground type hits hit me pretty well. Rillaboom is good for the extra recovery on the substitute. I went with Bandit this time. Uh, this is Melm again. And this time I'm being smart by bringing Bandit. Uh, Grassy Glide U-turn. U-turn is going to be really good in this matchup. So... Uh, knockoff and high horsepower knockoff for like a Dragonite I can knock off if it's wearing like boots or something not that it actually matters for me, but oh well And high horsepower is for the mobile. I needed something to hit the mobile with I have Deansi which is here to just do as much damage as it can. I have earth power for the uh, Rillaboom uh, Hold up the Rillaboom Good morning I have Earth Power for the Mawal. Uh, besides that, I have uh, Psychic, which is very interesting because it hits uh, the Roserade really well, along with the Golbat, although the Golbat will likely Diamond Storm. I have Moonblast, which hits practically everything else, mostly Grimmsnarl, a Dragonite, and a Road Wash. Uh, Dragonite, again, I might just want to click Diamond Storm on because of the defense boosts. And um, Curse Power also really good versus Right Barrier, which is nice. Moonblast, this, this is just going to do as much damage so my metal can come in. I have Unbenched, the Audi now. He's, she's finally here. And it's Heal Bell, Wish, Trick Room, Knockoff with a Chopple Berry. I can either Focus Blast from LXM, uh, guaranteed. And then I can get my Trick Room up, die, uh, wish, die, and then go Mel Metal and just wreak havoc from that point. That's for after Rotom is gone. I can bring in Mel Metal and get a kill basically each turn. I have Arcanine. I need Arcanine for this battle. Because of Mawa, I can intimidate it. Uh, I'm also running Toxic Charm, specifically for Rotom coming in slash Dragonite coming in. I can Toxic both. And then with Charm, I can outpace Dragon Dances from Dragonite, which is very nice. I can also potentially um, cripple the right barrier so it doesn't do as much damage. With Extreme Speed for the Alakazam and Overheat. Overheat is just very solid, um, a lot of damage. Plus, once I click Overheat, I can then start clicking Extreme Speed and don't worry about it anymore. Um, again, this is a mod just built on chipping things down. I want to be able to lower everything stats, then Toxic and Charm and just chip a lot and then no metal. And last I have Tanky Skun, uh, the Skun Tank, mostly because Elikazam. I was going with, I believe, I was going with Galate first. I don't know exactly why, but I went with Galate first, but then I saw Elikazam just messes me up so I needed Skun Tank to be able to deal with that um, just bulky 108 speed 
Uh, actually, I should talk about these speeds. 216 is, I believe, to outspeed a Rotom Wash or a Dragonite, one of the two. Might even be to outspeed the Roserade, to be fair. Yeah, I think this is to outspeed the Roserade. And then Skuntank, I have 108 speed, which is enough to outspeed, I believe, Max Speed Grimmsnarl, maybe, and Bulky Rotom, I think. But Defog, just in case he brings like rocks or something. Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, Toxic. Dark Pulse hits stuff really well. The things it doesn't hit are um, Mobile and uh, let's see, Grimstall. Both don't like taking a Flamethrower. And I have Toxic, again, chipping things down. I want to chip things down, then bring in the Unseen, deal a lot of damage, and then have Mill Metal clean up with the Trick Room. That's the basic idea. He really has a hard time with Mel Metal. I really hope I can get it to shine. So, uh, I guess we'll have to see. I'm doing the battle here in a bit, so... Um, wish me luck. Alright, and there we go. Uh, Ember Pool is a bit of a surprise. Run I expected. Let's see, did you do? Rotom is, uh, but Melmetal is really good here. In fact, actually no, let me lead. I think a lead Arcanine here is best. I'm just gonna try to get the link over. He does lead Rotom Wash. I'm gonna be dumb, he's gonna... Oh my god, there's already someone in. Did he link it? He did link it, alright. Well, that makes it easier for me. He Volt Switched. And I got the Toxic, the toxic off, which is nice. Toxic on the Rotom is huge because that means my metal can start clicking buttons. Actually, don't I just go Squint Tank here? I think I just go Squint Tank here. Uh huh. And a Dark Pulse is basically free. He can go mobile. But a Dark Pulse is good damage. He has a Cobra Berry, all right. If he wants to give me Alakazam, that's huge. That does actually kill me. Oh my god. I'm just gonna click Grassy Glide here. I'm not gonna mess around with this. Uh huh. Let me go DNC here. A stun spore comes out, alright. I can click Psychic here, nice damage. That miss is unfortunate for him, but um, now I get rid of Rose Raid, which is no more sleep, which was one thing I was kind of scared of. But this is a good start for me. Yes, I've lost Skuntank, but um, Yancy is in a really good position now. I'm gonna click Diamond Storm here because I can get a defense boost from it.
Oh my god. Um, that's a problem. Uh huh. I'm gonna switch into Rillaboom here. We can eat that easily. Um, go back into Arcanine. Just get rid of this boost. Because his agility is not trained ends. Please unmelt me. That's a pain, the freeze. <laughs> nice 20%. I'm just gonna click double iron bash here. Uh huh. I can get a protect off here. Get some more toxic damage on this. Let me substitute up. If you wish me here, that's a really nice play. Uh huh, he full twitches. Nice. Because a double iron bash still hurts this thing really bad. Three five, three six. Nice. Nice. All right. Rillaboom comes in. All right, that's fine. Uh huh. I double iron bash here. Actually, let me immediately try to sub up. And I can protect here. To get some extra recovery from the grassy terrain. Uh huh. And you're getting toxic turns. I'm just gonna sub up again and protect again. More toxic chip and sub again. And protect again because leftovers. Actually, I'm just gonna double iron bash here. I'm just gonna click high horsepower again. Because I'm pretty sure at this point I win with Tracoom. I should be faster than this. 
Ooh, nice. Dragoon on this. He's probably killing me here, but I do have the shuffle. Ooh. I got my Dragoon off. I'm gonna wish here. As he knocks me out. I'm gonna sub up on the sucker punch as he doesn't. Haha, uh -huh, I lost. Very well played from him. I underestimated Mawal. Definitely. Melmetal put in a good amount of work, but Mawal was too strong for me. So. That's a shame. I really wish I could have brought it a bit lower. I should have just. Click double iron bash to be honest. The freeze was really annoying because that completely took out Arcanine. Uh, Diancy put in a decent amount of work. Melmetal with the sub protect was really good. I should have just clicked double iron bash here and killed this because then I would have won. Because like if I double iron bash there, I would have been able to uh, protect uh, and then double iron bash into the Rotom, killing it. Uh, double iron bash Dragonite and the LKSM actually has focus blast. So that might have been tough. The Arcanine freeze was really, I didn't expect Skuntank to die is one thing. But yeah, I am. I'm still pretty happy with how, how I played. I definitely underestimated Moal. Um, Brick Break Moal is a threat. I didn't expect that. Um, Rodom did basically Rodom things. I, I was expecting that, but I was expecting to be a bit better at being able to wall it out. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.